delivered a strong quarter for and doubled its revenue for the full year to over 2,000 crore rupees. Remember, the company, which is an electronic manufacturing services solutions provided, uh, provider listed late, late last year, Jasbir Singh Gujral, the MD at the company, is joining us now to discuss the business outlook and uh, what are the plans going ahead as well. Mr. Gujral, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Good set of numbers uh, that the company has reported and congratulations on that. I uh, wanted to understand uh, the outlook on the segments, uh, the segmental reporting that you've done. Uh, quarter three, uh, the healthcare segment did see some decline. It, uh, it was not doing so well. How did it do in quarter four? And uh, for the coming year, what kind of growth rates are you looking at across the segments? Which one is going to be uh, the biggest trigger here? See, we have a very good uh, FY23. We grew by about 63% in top line and 61% in a beta and PBT. This was on a growth of 45% in the previous year. Now, going forward in the current year, we believe, uh, we are confident that we will be able to maintain the industry growth rate, which is expected to be about 35%. So it should be backing on that because we believe we have the uh, wherewithal and the order pipeline to achieve a 35 to 40 percent growth rate in the coming year as well. Now these growth rates will primarily be driven by a very strong uh, demand on automotive, which is both uh, EV, electric mobility, and uh, combustion. Uh, industrial uh, segment is also expected to grow very well, and so is the consumer. So the main stay for the growth in the coming year would be automotive, industrial, and consumer. Health would see a rebound. It's a primarily discretionary spend. We are into the lifestyle products of the health, so they're not life-saving sort of a thing, uh, uh, necessary spend. So that has uh, seen a muted growth in the last year of about 12%. The last quarter was better, but I think we are about two quarters away before we see a rebound in that. On an overall basis, I think uh, we are very confident of uh, uh, growing at uh, the pace which we have set in the last two years. Okay. So particularly for the three uh, segments where you are expected to see strong growth, auto, industrials and consumer uh, can you tell us what is the expected growth rate because last year you had more than 100 percent jump in consumer for instance so between the see, three what's the pecking order and growth looking like see 100 percent jump was because we were not we are had a very very low base of consumer in the year 22. Hmm. going forward we believe that uh, auto industry would uh, continue to continue about 25 percent of our turnover Industrial would be about 30% and consumer would be 25 to 30%. So these three pillars will contribute between 80 to 85% of the total turnover of the company. Okay. Now, if I see the growth in auto would be approximately, it would uh, be same secular growth of about 30, 35%. These three segments will have a secular growth, maybe a couple of percentage points here and there. Take that point, Mr. Gujral. And uh, the next phase of growth is also from your CapEx. You have lined up some of it. I wanted a status check on that one. The You have 21 SMT lines. You had planned to add more by FY24. And your newly commissioned facilities in Manisar and Chennai as well, the Hyderabad unit that you were planning to set up. Can you give us uh, an update on where they are in terms of commercialization, the initial utilization, uh, capacity utilization levels? Uh, and will you be adding more CapEx on this one? Yeah. See, the current capacity which we have created thus far will uh, see us through for almost the turnovers which we are expecting for the year FY23-24. Maybe a little bit of balancing uh, capex, maybe a little bit of testing and uh, customer specific uh, process capex. But in terms of capacities, we are almost there. We are adding three more lines immediately. So these with 24 lines will be able to uh, cater to the growth which we are projecting in the current year. The next round of capex which will start somewhere in the Q2 of this year is essentially to make the organization future ready for 24-25. So oh. whatever field or brownfield projects which we set up in the uh, three quarters of this year, balance three quarters of this year, are essentially aimed at 
catering to the growth requirement of 24, 25 and there. Hmm. So, uh, post-25, uh, once uh, even this uh, new capacity will come on stream, how much would your overall capacity go up by? And what would the debt on the books uh, stand at after it's all done? Because we can see your borrowings have increased in FY23. Uh, we believe that once the CAPEX cycle is completed in 23, 24, and maybe first half of 24, 25, uh, the company should be in a position to almost... Uh, more than double its present turnover. More than double the present yes. turnover. Okay, and uh, just... Okay, last question before we let you go. Your export markets, we've been talking about some uh, slowdown in exports. What is it currently as a percentage of revenues? Have you seen some recovery here? See, the slowdown in the export, we always take it as a relative. The fact that the Indian market is growing at 70, 80%, the 12 15% growth rate in exports pales in significance to the domestic growth rate. We have grown in exports this year. Exports in FI23 account for about 31% of our revenues. And going forward, we would try to maintain this percentage in the exports as well. In between, because exports have a longer gestation period to sort of rectify. There could be a marginal dip to about 27, 28 percent, but the long term uh, mission or vision of the mm -hmm. management to mm -hmm. maintain exports mm -hmm. at 30 percent would continue. Cleo, uh, what's the current order book of the company and any pipeline that you would like to share? Any new customers across segments that you're in conversations with? Okay, in the last quarter. We have onboarded eight to ten major customers and some very formidable names, uh, global names. And these customers are spread across automotive, HVAC, which is refrigeration, air conditioning, uh, charging infrastructure, power electronics. So across segments, we have got some eight, nine big customers, including very big uh, global names, which would be uh, have been onboarded and the revenues from them would come in the year 24, calendar year 24, okay. and both for domestic and international. All right, uh, Mr. Gujarat, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us a sense on what's planned ahead, especially with all the capex that's coming up at the company. We'll uh, slip